Welcome, my name is Debbie and this is Pouring My Art Out for the Lord. And for the past several weeks I've been making um, an idea journal with the botanical collections from the Junk Journal Studio. I have 14 videos up already on making ephemera for this journal. I've also showed how to make this cover. And today I'm just going to show you how I am organizing my idea book so that I can find my ideas uh, quickly, find the videos quickly. And this, um, if you're following along with my series, you can um, do the same thing. Or this can apply to any idea book that, that you're making. It's just a, a good idea for just organizing things. So I went through my playlist of the 14 videos that I have on um the botanical collection for um, the, the Junk Journal Studio. That's a mouthful. Um, I went through all my videos and I renamed them with a number so that um, I have from number 1 to 14 and uh, so they're easy to find and I will put the numbers in here. I'll show you how to do that in a second and then everything will just be super organized which I like. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is this is another design team project for the Junk Journal Studio. I think this is my final one for this uh, botanical collection for now. Uh, I think there's more coming in the botanical collection and I do have room for some more ideas in here, so I might still work on here. Um, but this is, this is it for now. So I made a little um, journal card sort of thing. I actually left it open to tuck things in if I wanted to, uh, you know, just give myself a note of something new that I wanted to make or whatever. Um, so it's the Junk Journal Studio Botanical Collection. This is my YouTube series, Pouring My Art Out for the Lord. So I have 14 videos. I listed all of the videos here. Um, I just printed this onto a page of one of the freebies that's available at the Junk Journal Studio coffee shop and I decorated it with one of the butterflies. So that is just my little card. So I'll just put that to the side here. And then I went onto the Junk Journal Studio and got their um, Christmas Wonder um, kit. And you can do this with anything. You don't need this particular kit, but they had some fabulous numbers. There was like a, a neutral version, a red version, and a green version. I, I selected the neutral version. There's numbers 1 through 31. Um, these ones are, you could punch them out of, with a 1 inch circle fairly easily. Um, I had a 1 and 1 8 inch punch, and that worked um, just perfectly for my circles. So that's what I used, a little scalloped um, one. But you can use whatever you want or cut them out by hand or you could make squares if you wanted to do that. So then what I did is for each piece of my ephemera, so here's one piece of my ephemera, um, this is number six. So this was my uh, double over the page belly band. This is a removable belly band. Um, if you want it to be, you can also glue it in. So if I look at number six, it's called double sided belly band. And if I forget how I made this, I can refer to my um, Botanical Collection YouTube series and look for video number six and it will show me how to make this project. So that'll just help me in the future and you know, it might help you if you want to do the same thing. This was a piece of ephemera that actually I didn't do on a video yet. Um, I may at some point, I don't know. Um, this was number 10. So number 10 is the paper clip with large pocket. So it's a paper clip and I have a large pocket on here. And then I tucked in number 12, which is pocket pouch with notepad. So this keeps the pouch closed. This opens up and there's a little notepad inside. So that's number 12. Um, some of this I just, you know, I just made a belly band with whatever. This was my specimen pouch. I didn't want to, um, add another number here. I just couldn't, it didn't look right to me, so I put it on the back. So this is number three, so that's our specimen pouch. I can look up that video if I want to see how to make that again. It has an acetate um, cover, and um, this is underneath the acetate cover, and then there's a pocket here as well, and then a belly band tuck for a little notepad in the back there. 
Um, this is number 13, which is triple tiered angled pocket and tag. <laughs> so this was a really unique pocket. There's kind of a little ledge here for um, my ephemera. And then there's, if you lift the whole thing up, there's a big tuck in there for a piece, uh, or a, for a large tag. So there's that one. This was just a pocket I made. This was a paper clip I made while I was experimenting for another paper clip. Um, this is number four, under the page, double book page pockets. So this one is um, a double. It goes underneath the, the page, it's joined there. And I glued it on two sides so that it is a tuck there on both sides. And there's also a journal card insert on each side. So those are um, part of my video number four. And then I have this. And this one, um, I put the number on the back behind here. That was, this is a small piece, so that fit best here. So this is number two. So this is a hidden paper clip tab. So these you can put, you can make them for the top, for the side, but they have a little tab at the top. Somebody said they looked like little mason jars. A couple people said that, which they do. That would be cute to decorate them as a mason jar. So that just goes on the top. And then when you close your journal, you have a nice tab sticking out there. So that was number, what did I say, 12? Two, number two. This is number seven. So this is my notepad folio. So this opens up like this and like this, and there's a little notepad there, a little pocket here. And this particular one, you don't have to, but this particular one I made into a belly band. And I have this in here. This is my first one that I made and it's embossed journal cards. So I left it, um, so I'll just show you what I'm doing here. So I punched out um, all of my other circles, I'll punch this one out. And then just put a little bit of ink around the edge. Super simple to make these. And then I'll just put some glue on the back. And then I'll just add it to my ephemera piece. So I'll just decide where I want it. I think I'll put it down here. And just glue that on and it becomes part of the decoration and part of the reference system so that's what's kind of nice about doing you know kind of a decorative uh, number so there's number one my embossed journal cards um, on this side uh, is my easy circle paper clips so again I put it the number on the back here so number 14 easy circle paper clips so that was my last video in the series, besides this one. This one was number nine, uh, faux envelope flip writing space. So I got a piece of Velcro closing that, and then it opens as a piece of writing space. And then you can close it up and tuck it around the belly band and it just stays on there. I think that's a really neat piece. I've used that quite a few times. This was just a large pocket that I made. This is number 11. So this is envelope pocket tag. So there's a little um, envelope here that we make on the video, a piece of uh, ephemera that you can tuck in there. And then I glued the envelope on three sides and there's another tuck there or pocket there for a couple pieces of ephemera. And this is number 11. So envelope pocket tag. This was one that I made right at the beginning. It's a banner paper clip, and I did not make a video for that one. This one is number eight, um, book page double angle pockets. So this one is just a really large um, double angled pocket that I decorated with the book page and just put a couple of inserts in here. This insert is a full page of one of the pages in the botanical collection kit and I coffee dyed the back so there's a big huge writing space on that one number eight here's a pocket and is there another one there's a belly band and then this was just number five the number five video was just uh, putting ephemera in the journal so the first four I just made and then I decided to make this journal just to put everything in 
Um, so number five is just kind of putting the ephemera in here. I didn't show how to make the cover there, but I did a subsequent video in my Junk Journal 101 series to show how to make this paper bag cover. So I'll link that below if you're interested in looking at that. Um, so I'll have the playlist for all of these 14 projects listed below. And also, um, I'm not positive the, the day that this one is going up, but I may still have um, a little bit. I, um, I made five pieces of ephemera and then I put them up on my coffee shop and um, just sold a couple of pieces. Um, and I have the, the first 10 pieces are completely sold out. The last five pieces may or may not be available. I'm not sure. I'll put a, I'll add a, an update in the description box if they're available or not, but um, I had made uh, five sets of the last five pieces of ephemera, so if you're interested in that um, and they're still available, you can check that out on my coffee shop. So thanks for watching through this whole series. I hope you were inspired. Uh, I hope you grabbed this collection of kits. It's just fabulous. They're so... Um, the Junk Journal Studio has a series of these botanical kits. The first one was the green and neutral kit. Then she did a yellow add-on and then a red add-on and then a blue add-on. So this encompasses all of those. The blue add-on, I think there's only just one little background piece in there because I'd mostly finished this before that was released. And um, there's going to be a couple more released in the spring. So really fabulous collection. So that's uh, linked below as well if you're interested in picking that up from the Junk Journal Studio on their Etsy page. But thanks for, for following along and I hope you enjoyed this, this series. Blessings!